Previously on Crusade. After successfully raiding the last prospect mines, getting both the uh, code for the workshop as well as the heavy hammer, I had to get myself back to the prison. This included going down a triple rope climb and facing down a timber wolf attack. Never one to give up easy, I thought my way through it and blessedly survived. Making it back to the Black Rock, even if it was bloody. So on day 187, we now wait for the Aurora. So what do you do when you need to wait for the Aurora so you can make use of the electricity? Well, <laughs> by day 189, I had learned that uh, wolves actually can come in from this area. I had let that gate be opened yesterday, and this guy had wandered in. Took his meat yesterday, but uh, the weather was bad, so I left the uh, hide and uh, guts until now. Then I did a lot of crafting and a lot of grinding by the fire and such. And uh, did some work to uh, make sure that uh, I try to stay productive. So I made sure to, uh, while the fire was going, try to boil up the water, as well as uh, cook up some of that bear meat from that uh, bear I dropped at uh, day 180. Figured might as well have the calories and water already existing while I'm waiting through this weird time frame. And then my first crafting job was arrows. Figured I might as well fill the quiver. Needless to say, still no Aurora, and not going to get one in this kind of weather. After the quiver, I started sewing up my uh, gear. Socks, even that uh, expedition parka that I had earned at the mine. That got me up to mending level 4. And since I had the time, I decided to check out what does mending get me. 85% chance of uh, repair, repair time degrees 25%. 15% greater item condition, and 25% redu uh, percent reduction on the sewing kit. Not the top uh, skill I was going for, but I'm not going to complain as repair is a big part of the game, so do recommend it. In case you're wondering, I did check throughout the nights, and that was an all-night blizzard too. <laughs> RNG was not being kind to me. Day 190. <laughs> Refilled my wood supply. I needed some and I didn't know how long I was going to be camping here. Use that wood to build up my water supply because, well, I didn't want to die of thirst. And I also use that wood to continue cooking up some meat. Figure while I'm on night watch, might as well keep the... Uh, but tonight was not to be the Aurora yet either. <laughs> Day 191. Decided to play Bo Bunny Bingo because, frankly, I needed furs for mittens and hats. Then realized, this place actually has bu- So we set a trap line for it. Because I love uh, any sort of device that will work while I'm doing something else, and I can increase my productivity. And the trap line's probably one of the more effective ways to do that here on the Great Bear Island. And dropped another wolf. Because, well, they keep coming at me. Day 192. Glitch hunting. Because this is probably one of my favorite hunting spots here in, <laughs> not so much Great Bear Island, but at least here on uh, Black Rock Mountain. This gap here that sometimes the dogs will go through, but this one seemed to avoid. And in its confusion to figure out, you know, can it get to me? How can it get to me? What's, you know, what kind of AI is it going to do to try and get to me? It never decides to do. But what it does decide to do is actually break the frickin' laws of physics by actually coming through the fence line. And if I keep seeing its head popping through the gate, so I just decide, you know what? If it keeps doing this, I may actually try this to see if it works. And if it works here, then I may actually try that when the bear does that popping through its head there. But I keep seeing this glitch through, especially really bad as I get close to it. And I keep thinking it's going to come through the gate. But I just decide, you know what, we're going to try something else here. So I'm going to get over, find a good spot, and I can't believe he even stops and waits for it. So I take the shot expecting it to not hit, and it's a single kill. <laughs> Thereafter, I start actually working on using all those wolf skins that I've collected for a while and start actually making a wolf skin coat. I've got another 22 hours left on this one. <laughs> I might as well get started. Working into the evening, 
No Aurora tonight. <laughs> the storms, they keep on coming. Day 193. Proof that the trap line works and caught uh, two rabbits out of three traps. I'd call that good odds. Then back to the workbench to put more time into the wolf skin coat. Because I have the skins and I have the time to kill. So might as well craft. Until finally patience is rewarded and I finally awake to the glorious light of an aurora. It's one of the few times I've ever been happy to see an aurora in this game. All right, let's get straight to work then, and uh, let's start uh, getting stuff ready for it. Now, I would uh, kind of stacked up some stuff here because I don't know how this door is going to work. This is literally the first time I've tried to get through a door, and I don't know if I'm going to have to, like, punch it all the time, if it's just going to be a transfer, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Okay. Walking in here. Not bad. Let's get a little light in here. And I'm willing to bet that there's going to be some sort of burn, bell or burn barrel or something here, so... I'm going to try and get a fire going to get some light going pretty quick. I'm actually kind of surprised that I'm not seeing a little bit more light. Uh, no steam pipe. Barrels. Not a burn barrel, though. Around the corner. Lantern. That'll help, but still, I want to start a light here. Let's think through here. Okay, I can't start a fire indoors without some sort of uh, fireplace. Let me go ahead and see if I can get this relit off of a torch then. Extend the flame out a little bit. Ugh. Must have been too late or something. Damn it. Oh, wow, this torch is just about burnt out too. Um, what do we got? Where you got the equipment here? Mill. No burn barrel. Still not seeing a burn barrel. Okay, this is going to get irritating. Um, forge, perfect. That'll work fine. Let's go ahead. I don't have the time. Torch 1%. This is going to be lucky if I can get this started in time. Not because of my skill, just, you know, 1% torch will do it. Looks like it will. Okay. All right, so that's going to give me some there. Come on. We got milling machine, ammunition workbench, good, good, good. And an actual forge if I want it. Okay, my top priority is actually not to really do ammunition or a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, forging. This time around, is there a way to turn lights on? I would think there would, the lights are on. The lights are on. Okay, sweet. So that means you guys get halfway decent pitcher without me burning fuel. Okay. If that's the case, then let's do a quick search of the lockers here. I'm going to grab just a few bits and bobs. And my top priority is actually to make a lot of noisemakers here. Uh, let me get... Uh, take a look here real quick. Okay, we got a piece of scrap metal. Ammunition workbench. <laughs> yep. Forge. Okay. Let me drop a little bit of firewood into this, because I know I'm going to be here a few hours. I'm going to want the light at least. And uh, let me go get some supplies. I'll do the grind. You skip the time. Be back with you in a minute. Okay, uh, getting back to the workbench now. Let's get to what I've literally been waiting for. Uh, yes, we'll go ahead and uh, make some gunpowder. First time I've ever done that in survival, and it feels good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to make as much gunpowder as I can, and the most important thing to me, actually, is the noisemakers, because I think that's the most useful. I don't use a lot of bullets, either for the rifle or for the handgun. I'm an archery-based uh, player. I've been doing that since I've started this game. But especially with Timberwolves, I think the uh, uh, noisemaker is one thing I'm really looking forward to. Uh, okay, I want to, I've got two hours left on that. Uh, I thought I saw, okay, try to look at that. Yeah, there we are. Let's drop some wood here. I don't know if I'm going to use it right now, but I want to try and play smart with, 
All right, next thing on the to-do list, grab that scrap metal. And while I'm here, let's go ahead and get this knife repaired uh, up to, it's at 26% right now. Yeah, uh, I've got uh, good repair skills somehow already. Uh, I think that's the milling machine doing the work for me. But that gives me a 100% knife. Not bad. And I'm not too worried about my hatchet yet. I've got a spare, so that's okay. Uh, can I make another? No, I don't have the cloth. Um, I wish I'd thought about this ahead of time. Let me go ahead and I've been keeping lousy gloves just for their cloth effect. Now, I thought I was going to be doing that more for clothes, but my other clothes are actually in pretty decent situation. So, yeah, I think sacrificing lousy gloves for noisemakers is a worthy trade because I've already got rabbit skin gloves, I've got good ski gloves, and I'm actually trapping rabbits to make more rabbit skin gloves, so I'm feeling decent about that situation. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and sacrifice the old fabric for a few more noisemakers. Uh, let's go ahead and throw another uh, bit of wood into the forge here, just to uh, keep the light and everything comfortable and going here. Get rid of these old torches. All right, noisemaker, crank out another one of those. Noisemaker is what I'm here for. I loved the noisemaker, even when it was previewed. I think it's great. I think it's a great balance of the equation with timber wolves. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Make some more gunpowder while I'm here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> gunpowder. <laughs> Oh, yeah. In fact, I always love it like uh, when you're playing the Sid Meier Civilization games and you're dominating really well with science and you get the gunpowder first and it's like, oh, man, it's almost game over at that point. Uh, take a quick look through here. What have I done here? Uh, i got a perfect knife, five, six, seven uh, noisemakers, so that's doing pretty solid. That is not a bad night's work right like it is. Um... Give me a second, kind of think through here. Why am I going out with the light here? Is the aurora over? I think it might have just ended, yeah, okay. I thought it lasted longer, that's fine. Let's do a once over on this and uh, see if there's anything that I'm missing. Okay, I'm not worried about newspaper. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, the electricity is gone for certain. That's a fire going on. Let's go ahead and take some of these torches because I used up so many of my torches. So, if I can clear it. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw that. Darn it. What I meant to do is just extinguish it like this. Okay, so get over here and then I've got a, looks like a clear hitbox in which I can actually close this thing. Okay. Well, auroras are shorter. Well, it's not so much that they're shorter. It's just that I was so productive I kept grinding through the entirety of the time. So I'm not going to feel too bad about that. All right. Well, I would call that a successful aurora. Excellent. I appreciate you going through what feels like the first Crusade clip show, but it seemed to be the best way to get through the week that I had to endure here. Uh, if you want to see more of this type of work, Make sure that uh, you support the channel through either a YouTube or Patreon membership. Links are below. If you want to know more, that's what playlists are for. And of course, if you want to know if I live to see tomorrow, leave a like and subscribe. I'm Commander Tom. I'll see you next time. Thanks. With a lot of gunpowder. <laughs>